In this video, we'll cover the process of installing the operating system using the Lifecycle Controller Manual Installation Mode. Launch the Lifecycle Controller homepage. Click Virtual Media and then click Connect Virtual Media. Click Virtual Media and then click Map CD DVD to map the device. The connected drive is displayed in the Virtual Media Map CD DVD dialog box. Click Browse to find the preferred drive. And then click Map Device. Click OS Deployment and then click Deploy OS. If the virtual disk is not present, you will be directed to the RAID configuration wizard to create a virtual disk first. You can select Configure RAID first to edit the existing virtual disk attributes or to create a new virtual disk. If the virtual disk is already present, select Go directly to OS Deployment. Click Next. Select the RAID controller to view its current virtual disk configuration and disk attributes and click Next. Select the RAID level for the virtual disk that you want to create and then click Next. On the Select Physical Disk screen, the default values for protocol media type and encryption capability are displayed. Select the physical disks which you want to be part of the virtual disk and click Next. On the Virtual Disk Attributes screen, type the virtual disk name. No, the virtual disk name should not contain spaces or special characters. The values for the striped element size, read policy, and write policy are displayed by default. To change the values, you can select from the drop-down list next to each of these fields. Click Next when finished. The summary of virtual disk attributes is displayed. Click Finish to create the virtual disk. On the RAID configuration warning window, click Yes if you wish to continue. The RAID configuration window is displayed. Note that this operation might take approximately one minute to complete. When the virtual disk is created successfully, the RAID Configuration Success window is displayed. Click OK. Select an operating system that you want to install from the list of available operating systems and click Next. The system loads relevant drivers for the selected OS. This will take less than 5 minutes to compose the OS drivers. Select Manual Install as the installation mode and click Next. Select the boot mode for installing the selected OS. Click Next. Insert the OS media into the DVD drive attached to the server, or map the OS media virtually using the Virtual Media option from the menu, and then click Next. Validating the operating system media will take less than two minutes. Here, the summary of the selected options is displayed. Click Finish. The system reboots and starts the installation of a selected operating system. Note: After reboot, you will be prompted to press any key to start the installation. If the key is not pressed, the system does not proceed with the installation. Once you press any key, the OS installation starts. For more information on the Dell Lifecycle Controller, visit dell.com forward slash techcenter forward slash lc.